Thanks for joining us. Live at 5 tonight, I'm Trisha Keen. Todd Quinones has the evening off. Well, if you're someone struggling to pay rent for either your home or business, there are programs available to help. 13 Action News reporter Jeremy Chen is live in front of Eclipse Salon with information on how these programs can help you stay afloat during these tough economic times. Jeremy. Yeah, Tricia, we have seen stickers like the one right behind me over here. This one in yellow pretty much saying that this business has been evicted from their space. And that's actually a fear that some homeowners and renters have as far as trying to figure out how they're going to be able to pay their mortgage or rent. However, state officials say there is help available. So many have lost their jobs during this pandemic. Their mental health is taking a hit and while trying to figure out how they're going to pay rent or their mortgage. That's exactly how Shantae Bushner feels. She's been out of work for a few months. I was furloughed from my job back in April and then officially laid off um, in July. That's made it extremely difficult for her to pay rent. So she asked for help applying for rental assistance through the state. So far has been fairly simple. I um, actually was kind of really surprised at how fast it actually moved for me. Bushner says she's close to getting the money she needs. Just having this opportunity to have a program that's going to assist me to catch up on my rent and my utilities is a huge, huge help. State Treasurer Zach Conine says about $50 million in CARES Act money has been allocated for rental assistance in Clark County. He says people can apply through various nonprofits. The grant money can help pay back rent or utilities, and they don't need to pay anything back. Uh, they'll reach out to you, take you through that application process, and then if you're approved, for that, the monies go directly to your landlord. He says the rental assistance programs are vital in helping the state recover. It's important that we find solutions for all these programs because, of course, keeping people in their homes is deeply important during a pandemic, but also really important for the economic recovery to follow. Bushner says she encourages people to look into the assistance programs to help with their finances. Just go ahead and try because there's plenty of agencies out there that are actually assisting. Um, a lot of them are doing utilities and um, rental and mortgage. Now, as far as the money itself, uh, pretty much this program will continue as long as the money is there. However, the federal government will take back that money if it's not used by the end of the year. Now, we have the details on how you can apply for this rental assistance on our website at KTNV.com. And coming up at 6, we're going to talk more about what help is available for business owners. Jeremy Chen, 13 Action News. A lot of people need it. Jeremy, thank you.